Good morning everyone and welcome to day three of our Disney cruise on the Disney Dream. We have come to Spain today and today's going to be a very fun exciting day because not only are we going to go to Spain, spend some hours there, in the evening it's going to be Pirates Night which is something that I've heard so much about as somebody who loves Disney and has watched loads of Disney vlogs. never experienced it myself. This is only my second ever Disney cruise. The first one I did was a few years ago and it was a Disney staycation. Magic at Sea cruise that you can find the vlogs for if you want to. It was a very different kind of cruise because of the fact that it was still during COVID. It was just not your typical cruise of that makes sense. Still had a great time though, so the vlogs are worth watching if you want to check them out. But yeah, I am excited about today. You're gonna have to excuse the appearance because I've literally just showered. I've got no makeup on yet. Sam's now in the shower. But I thought I'd quickly show you the view whilst the sun was kind of peeking through the clouds. So we've arrived at our port in Spain. So this is kind of the view so far. I wasn't sure how to make of the kind of stops, but I'm actually quite looking forward to getting off now. It's not like rocking anymore. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go get ready now. As frankly beautifully showed you earlier, this is the view that we have. We have now docked. The rocking doesn't really feel much anymore, in fact. It almost feels like we are on land, even though we are still on a ship. Um, we did order breakfast last night because you can do that and it's not any extra cost. You can get it at room service if you want to. It was our first time doing it. We found the little slips in the little drawer under the TV in the room and we just filled it up with things that we want to. It's a continental breakfast, so not any hot items, but things like croissants, bagels, muffins, teas, coffees, orange juices, things like that you can get. Um, and <clears throat> sorry about my voice, by the way. I feel like I've vlogged a lot over the past month, uh, so I'm slowly but surely losing it. Hopefully not until the series ends. But yeah, we thought because we have an early start today, it might be worth trying the you know, room service breakfast, and I'm going to show you in a second. It actually looks really lovely. A lovely cast member brought it up to our room to deck six, um, sometime between eight and eight thirty. You can choose what time, or at least a half an hour slot, as to when you want it to be delivered to your room. The only thing is that if you want room service breakfast the following morning, you do have to put the slip outside your door before three a.m., which most people probably would, because most people would hopefully be asleep by three a.m. Not like us who didn't go to bed until about. Four. That's why we're both quite tired. However, let me show you the breakfast. Breakfast has arrived. Ta-da! Oh my god, they've given us three cupcakes. Oh wow. Wait, did I put that? No, I put bagels. You did you did you did bagels. Oh, Let's... they've got it right wrong. Oh no, the bagels are in there, they're keeping them warm. Oh nice. Oh my god, they like put Oh, maybe because they're small. Yeah, I yeah, thought yeah, they were gonna be fair. bigger, so they're given fair. Loads of butter, the fresh fruits. Because the... we can keep these in the room. Yeah, perfect. And then what's this? Milk. Do we ask for milk? Yeah, for your coffee, darling. Oh, I love how it comes in this really cute. <laughs> okay, did not expect that. So yeah, breakfast has arrived this morning. As Frankie mentioned earlier, we have a dock now in Spain. And we're going to have our breakfast in our veranda, in the balcony, which is going to be lovely. Frankie noticed a very fun detail, the fact that we're now in Spain. The music that they're playing on the TV, on the Disney Dream channel, is Spanish music. Can you hear it? <laughs> Whereas normally it's just like Disney tunes. You can see the time, it's 8.40 a.m. And we're going to take our breakfast out and eat it over there on the deck. I think there's an announcement coming. Oh, hello! <laughs> Have fun! <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, I don't know if you saw that. Um, the announcement, I don't think, was necessarily for us. Hey! <laughs> I think people have already come off the ship to go and enjoy the port. Where we are, by the way, is, I think it's a town called Bilbao in Spain. A place I've never been to. I have been to Spain, but never this area of Spain. So I'm looking forward to spending a few hours there. We have also booked a port adventure through Disney, so we'll see how that goes. Um, oh, what an amazing way to start the day. I also wanted to quickly show you this. So they gave us a card as well with the room service. It says, for the collection of your tray, please call us in room service. Have a magical day. So I presume after we finish our room service, we just have to give them a call so they can come and collect it. But with that being said, I'm going to go and transfer the breakfast items outside so we can start eating before we head downstairs. There you go. We literally only have about 10 minutes to finish as much of it as possible. Obviously, we don't need to finish it all because we have a fridge and space here. But look at the view. Look at the view. 
breakfast with a view. <laughs> so Andrew, why did we not get any sleep last night? We didn't go to sleep until like what again? 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Yeah. This morning I woke up and I was like, thank you, let's, let's try and sleep tonight. And you were like, it's prior at night. We're not <laughs> screaming, we're going to be coming back to our room yo hoing. And I think that is correct. We are rushing into the Walt Disney Theatre this morning because I think we might have some kind of briefing here for our port adventure. Andy, you'll need those to take off the shit. There you go. And thank you very much. You are group number 11. Please put oh, those cute. on your clothes so we All right. can see what to do with it. Thank you so much. Well, there you go. We are leaving the ship for the first time in a couple of days. Look at the ship. So cool seeing it from the outside now, knowing that we were just on there a few minutes ago. And now we're just following our group, we're group 11. I think we're going to be going to on a coach. There you go, Bilbao Port. It says exit this way, still following our group. Thank you very much, thank you. This is a map of Bilbao. The ship is looking phenomenal. Like you can see just how big it is now that we're outside and they've got all the coaches ready here. And you can see the Spanish flag up on the top deck of the Disney Dream. I don't even know they did that. Maybe it's just a thing they do where whichever, whichever country they go to but we're just waiting to board on this bus we will spend this morning together as a family okay so we will take care of everyone but if we are today a one-day family who i am the mother-in-law <laughs> i say where how and when okay We've just dropped off at our first stop in Bilbao. Our tour guide Maria is amazing by the way. I think we're going to be heading into the old town first. So we've been in Bilbao for about an hour and a bit, I think, now. Maybe, what's the it's time? It's like 11, so yeah, it's probably so, so different. It's a lovely town. Um, uh, we've really enjoyed the architecture so far. We're in the old town area of it. I think we're going to be going to the Guggenheim Museum later on. Um, and we both said, like, the tour guide is lovely. So she's lovely. She has so much knowledge as well, so she's informative. Like, quite fun as well. Like, yeah, so it makes it a very enjoyable experience. Um, so yeah, the place has been really they good. They almost left us in the toilet. Oh, they did. <laughs> Frank and I went we to the toilet. We've been like, how do we get back? Yeah, I know. They just left. I was I was in the toilet when I heard. No, them. I don't worry. I literally left because I was like, I'm gonna make sure that I can still see. Could them. you hear them say though yeah, that oh, we're did. about to leave? I was like, and I'm we're gonna going. go and then I'm gonna ring you to let them know yeah. where we are. And it was all fine in the end because it's a we booked this through Disney. One of the Disney cast members wasn't too far and kind of I guess knew somehow that I was missing, and so it was all good. But yeah, town is beautiful. It's loving so life. Quaint as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Love and all those the are colors like lovely and lovely children's. Um, clothing places, mm -hmm. um, like really cute, like um, christening and occasional wear. Yeah, I say. yeah. There's also trinkets. Are they going to give us like ten minutes to, like, go, to go and have a look at a souvenir? Buy, I feel like they will. Something. I feel like they should surely. I hope so. Anyway, it'd be nice I really to be able want to. A pin. <laughs> yeah, I want to have a look at some of the souvenir shops as well. We are back on the bus now, uh, going to the Guggenheim. Oh, now we continue our next stop, Guggenheim Museum, and on the way we will cross and see part of the city that was in Latch during the industrial period. We've just stopped at the Guggenheim Museum here in Bilbao, you can see the outside of it over here. It looks like such a cool building. And the Guggenheim Museum, obviously there's quite a few of them around in the world. Um, the one I only ever knew of before this trip was the one in New York. Big shout out to my mom, my mom's a big fan of art, she's an artist herself. She's been to the Guggenheim Museum in New York. I haven't, but I'd love to one day. But yeah, this one was built in 1997, we were told. And it's got a collective work of just different contemporary arts. Um, I just saw as well there was a poster up there that says Yayo Kuzama, which is who is one of my favourite Japanese artists, also has some works displayed there. I'm not sure how much of the museum we're actually going to be able to see because it's all part of the tour um, that was booked 
by the fourth adventures with Disney but we'll just see what it's like and I'll see how much of it I can share with you because I'm not exactly sure if I'll be allowed to actually take you guys into the museum or how much of the artwork I can film. We'll see. Well, we've come inside the museum and I've noticed the Yagi Okazama exhibition over there which looks so inviting obviously with her famous dots but the architecture inside this building from the outside looked amazing but even from the inside you can kind of see already like it's so interesting the way they've done it and I, I'm pretty sure I might be wrong but I'm pretty sure I heard the tour guy say that the person who designed the building here he was an American Canadian person and apparently he won one of the highest levels of awards that you can get for architecture which is pretty awesome We are back in our state room. The current time is about quarter to 3 p.m. If I'm not mistaken, our state room host has been here, obviously made everything nice and also has left us a couple of Pirates of the Caribbean bandanas with Mickey on them because obviously tonight is Pirates night. As we walked back onto the ship, we did see a few people already dressed up. These are the bandanas. I did bring myself a pirate hat from London. Whether or not I'm gonna use it or use one of these bandanas, I'm not sure, but they're really cute and you get to keep them. Even if you don't necessarily want to use them tonight, you can still just keep them for later and they're cute, they're lovely. We are both very, very tired. We're gonna go up and get some food, relax a little bit, hopefully. The thing is, we don't, we don't have much time to relax because pirate night suddenly starts and there's just... <laughs> Frank is lolling in the background. <laughs> oh my God, I can't feel this. <laughs> <laughs> there's the just no fact that you said there's no time to relax. There's never time to relax. As soon as you feel like, okay, let's have an hour. Woo, there's something what? else. I just want to have some context because I don't want anyone in the vlog to think that I am ungrateful or I'm not enjoying myself. I actually am probably too much and that's why I'm exhausted. Because we're not, we're doing so much and not really prioritising like, any rest. It, oh yeah, we can rest when we get home, but at the same no. time. What you just said now as well, in the past two hours, two days, we've had about I've had six, six hours. hours. You've Maybe probably had seven. Like eight in a bit. Seven, eight, yeah. I'd say. Because I've let you sleep in. Thank you, and it's been really nice. No, no, no. Oh, I don't mean that. And like, I've let no, you sleep in. No, I think in. you get up a bit earlier than me, yeah. yeah. But, um, but then to be fair, I go. I sleep a little bit later than you as well, so. Yeah, I suppose it evens out a little bit, maybe. Yeah. In any case, it's not enough. I, so, a problem that we should probably have I sort. really hope I'm not like. <sighs> I'm worried about tonight because it's like a full-on energetic thing as well. Maybe being around people that are energetic is going to give us the energy back. Frankie's face is saying probably not. I don't know. She doesn't look optimistic. <laughs> anyway, we'll I see. We'll maybe. see how we feel. Yeah. I think maybe. It'll be cute regardless. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to being horizontal later on. I'm so looking forward to eating lunch at normal time again soon though. Yeah. It's three o'clock again. I know. Tomorrow we can actually try and make things work because we're kind of on the ship the whole day. I'm half tempted to just skip breakfast tomorrow. Actually, no, to be fair, we will probably want to go. Oh no, we want to go do da, don't we? What we do tomorrow morning? I don't know yet, thank you. It's one of those restaurant ones. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Experience a nice, relaxing breakfast. Yeah, we'll try that tomorrow. Stay tuned with us. The energy levels will probably eventually go up or something hilarious might happen. We're so delirious, it will all go wrong. <laughs> I know. We have come up to the 11th deck again for a lunch. I went for a burger and some chicken nuggets. Frankie went for an impossible burger. You're very we welcome. Did we actually did. We've had finally on the third day, we've learned how to like, maximize our time. Frankie got the drinks, I went for the food, and then we just spent less time in waiting. But look at the view as well. We're still in Spain, as you can see. This is obviously the whole area of Bilbao and we're gonna be, I think, taking off again or embarking in about a couple of hours. We've just come to the top deck again. You can hear Toy Story in the background. Toy Story 1 is playing, it's just making my heart so happy. One of my favorite movies of all time. Well, I love the whole Toy Story franchise, but this is the first one especially. 
is my childhood. Um, we've just been taking many photos here. It's been difficult because there's obviously some beds here because the weather there is, is there beautiful. Wasn't here the other day. No, the weather is but the beautiful. Is, yeah, and the, the, the sun's shining. People are enjoying life, chilling. This is another view of Spain for you oh, over there. Sweet. I guess that's another way to spend it. Uh, you know, if you don't want to leave okay, the everybody. ship on your the, like city day, wherever you might be going, and if you're not, not bothered about actually seeing and exploring the place, you can stay on the ship and then enjoy the weather without the ship moving and just enjoying life. Obviously, because it's my first cruise, I really wanted to make the most of everything, so it's been hard to try and get everything out of it. But I guess some seasoned cruisers just stay on board and actually enjoy the cruise ship instead of exploring the city. Let me know in the comments down below what would you do if you're here on a four-night cruise and you go to Spain for a few hours. Would you get off and explore Spain? Because I really enjoyed doing that. It was nice to go to the Guggenheim Museum as well. But at the same time, equally, I feel like this would be so nice to just chill. Oh, wouldn't it be nice to just <laughs> chill? <laughs> no, I, I think I'm, not, I'm joking when I say this. I'm obviously having an amazing time. We both are. A bit tired after today. I know. Mind, like I said earlier, We've been like six hours of sleep in two, two days, guys. Not a lot of sleep. So, you know, I mean, yeah, maybe a longer cruise would be quite nice. Because then you have opportunities to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially when it's like this, it actually is really lovely. It is so, yeah, it is. Like, Isn't Toy it? Story's playing, you could be watching the movie on the screen. I know, it's way more chill, than it? Yeah. And then the views are lovely. Oh, maybe I'll just do another cruise one day. Yeah, imagine like doing this in like... I don't know. Not Somewhere that's very yeah, like, yeah, like Bahamas snowy. or something. Yeah, oh yeah, oh god. I right. mean that would be really windy. Right? Yeah, 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 true. But like it would be very picturesque. It would be. It would be indeed. This slide, I really want to do it, but obviously the only time the weather's been nice has been today. And you can see the queue for it, the aqueduct. Quite a big queue. But it's one of those things, you can't do everything, unfortunately, on a four-day cruise. Oh my god, that's so funny guys. We are officially leaving leaving uh, Bilbao port and there's a plane up there as well hopefully you guys can see it somewhere but the vibe is amazing there's people on other verandas as well I'm obviously not going to film them but we can hear them on each side of us we're back in our statement by the way if you couldn't tell there's a couple of ships and boats around but the vibe is amazing Frankie isn't it anyway as we're leaving this port I have now changed into my part of my pirate outfit for tonight um, I'm probably going to change these into a hat I did buy a, I did buy a pirate hat off Amazon not, not so long ago for this cruise exciting times though it's been fun it's cool to see some land because obviously for the past couple of days we've been at sea so all we've seen when we look, we've looked out of our veranda has been just whew, the ocean the water and now there's people there's a beautiful <laughs> I hope you guys can hear the, the noise is coming from both the ship it's so great and also down there as well it's great I've never experienced anything like this because last time I did a cruise we never actually stopped anywhere so it's so cool to be able to Anyway, we're just going to enjoy it and I think I'll next speak to you when I hopefully might be meeting some characters before we go for dinner. Oh Sam, look! That's quite cute. That is quite cute actually. Lighting's really good here. It is. Um, yeah, energy somehow come back up I guess. Maybe all it takes is a bit of wooing and oh yo -ho -ing. God, your voice is really I'm not going to have a voice tomorrow night. You might, you might have to just like talk through the whole Remy thing and explain everything to my vlog. I did speak to them this morning. I looked a bit different than mine. <laughs> Woo for me, Frank, because I can't woo. Woo woo! Do it one more time. Bye bye! Are you going to do woo woo? Oh, are they waving? Yeah. Even the people on the sea are. Right, can you do a little woo woo? They love it. They love saying bye cruise ships. I never knew they, that was a thing. Did you? Yeah. Right. <laughs> woo! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sounds sad because you're not doing it either. No, no, I'm, just, I'm pretending. <laughs> Spain, you're amazing. The pirate hat is on, as you can probably tell. It's a bit much, but it's making me feel a bit like a pirate. And I've already spotted quite a few people in their pirate gear, and everyone looks so cute, from little kids to adults to like all everyone. Just everyone's made an effort, and it's amazing to see. Um, Frankie's still getting ready in the room. I thought pop down to deck three to see if I might be able to join the queue for Mickey, because uh, Captain, not Captain Mickey, sorry, Pirate Mickey we'll be doing a meeting greet soon. Pirate Goofy's already there. I think Donald might be upstairs as well doing a meeting greet as a pirate. There's loads going on actually tonight. I've been in the queue for Mickey for about 25 minutes now. He has just come back and look at his outfit. 
It looks adorable. Okay, so I've just texted yeah. my friend Phantom because even though there's no Wi-Fi on board, you can only use it if you pay for it. Um, and we haven't. Um, you can use oh, there she is. Oh my god, I was just talking about you. I was saying I've just texted you and hopefully she's gonna make it. I'm here. I love I, it. I, I love the outfit. I had no idea it was downstairs. Yeah, no, I didn't know either. I was and like, oh, I this is a dog And I saw Mickey that I know it's a bit of a different queue. It's, it's oh, nice, isn't it? Right, I'm here. Are you excited? Oh, yeah, I literally just made it. Everyone's dressed up. It's really good, it's isn't so it? It's cool. yeah. so cool. It's so cool. I'm glad we put something on now. I know, I know. I've seen other people with hats as well, so I don't think that's ridiculous. Good, good. good. I put the bandana on. I don't know if I'm You've done a good job. No, you've done a good job. I've just put it here. As if I've got a cast, as if I've broken my hand or something. I kind of want it there. Never forget. Do you get some photos? And now for me, one, two, three, and three, two, one. Gorgeous. Thank you very much. Thank you all the best. Bye. There you go. I'm here with the phenomenal Pirate James, and look at his outfit. So cool. Are you having a good time? Yeah. Oh, you got your sword as well. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Lord have all the mercy. Oh, oh, it's oh my god. It's a full on pirate. That's amazing. The costume's amazing. I also wanted to show, can I show them your, your outfit as well? We've got Smee! Basically, yeah. we've got Smee here. <laughs> I love I love the belly especially. Can I also go for the legs? Oh, yes. my, there you go, the legs. <laughs> Well, let's I mean get the detail. On them. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> you all three of you look amazing too. Oh, you look amazing as well. Thank so they've much. been amazing. I've bumped into them like I think every single night we've bumped into each other. Yeah, yeah. 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 You guys have made my nice game to get these your present on the first yeah. night. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. it so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow night as well. Bye bye. We're just taking a little moment to actually chill because we've got a couple of hours until our dinner. Frankie's just over there having a look really at the nice. photos. It's yeah, isn't it nice to like? Soon. Yeah, it's nice to sit down and also know that we don't necessarily have to be anywhere anytime soon. Like we don't have any particular plans for a couple of, well, at least half an hour. Yeah, we don't have plans for well, probably five ten minutes. We're gonna go to the toilet. Yeah. Then we're gonna go to the shop. Then we're gonna go up and check the photos. Oh yeah, true. This is not a good angle for me. I'll there sit you go. Up. Is that better? <laughs> it's because of all the ruffles. Um, I love your little Mickey on your forehead. Thank you, darling. Oh. Oh, the photos are okay. Frankie's just going to photos that we took on our balcony earlier. Yeah. And whilst she does that, I wanted to give a shout out to honestly every single one of you that I have met on this cruise. This is day three now, and we've met so many of you. Like, how many people would you say all together probably in the past few days? I know for a fact the first two days was over 50 people. Really? Like, over 50. Okay. Not that I was sat there counting, but no, I can just think just about how amount. many people it yeah. was. Today we were out most of the day. We were this in evening. The ship, it's yeah. been at least ten already, and it's like. And everyone's been so lovely. We've only been down here like ten. True, minutes. true. Like been one person every minute. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Can I just say something? Go on. Like we often meet characters, and then people obviously spot you, which is lovely. Right, yeah, yeah. And um, you know, and then and then Sam ends up with her own line. <laughs> And then I literally look like a cast member taking photos for you. Yes, so she does actually. Shout out to Frankie as well because she's been so kind and you've been taking photos of like me and the, you guys and but and chatting is, as well with I'm, you all. You know, I know it's like a really nice moment for everyone to meet you. You know, yeah. you've been making videos for ages. Yeah. I've obviously watched you for ages too. That's going to sound like I'm some random fan who's come on holiday with you. Wow, stay away from me you weird fan. Why are you stalking me? Why are you stalking me into my room? You're sleeping in the same room as me. This is too. I'm joking. Obviously, she started the joke. She started the joke. What I'm trying to say is, it's really special for people to be able to see you. It's special for me as well to be able to actually chat to them. Yeah. And also, it's in a place that you love. They love. They love watching you. The whole Disney. I don't know. It's really nice seeing some of the interactions. I'm like, it's really heartwarming. Yeah. Especially like. Obviously, adults are great, but the children. Oh yeah, it's so it's lovely. I know, I know. So shout out to the children, shout out to the parents, shout out to the adults, shout out to any of you. And all the grandmas. And the grandmas and the grand anybody who I've said hi to. Honestly, it's been really nice. It's been yeah. um, just so. It's, and, and I'm so sorry if I've not been able to give everybody a shout out. If I've not had everybody in the vlogs, it, it's obviously been a very overwhelming. Like just, so just, uh, just a, just a, yeah. You, you, 
you want to spend time with them in the moment so you yeah. don't think about getting the camera out not yeah. everyone wants that they just want to like have a picture yeah, with yeah, you yeah, so exactly. I think don't worry about that too much yeah. thank you thank you so much I mean I think you've done amazing thank you thank you so much um yeah thank you guys thank you for making the cruise even more exciting and beautiful for us i hope you're all having an amazing time this is a really weird angle because i'm it's just so been tired fun meeting people even though i know it's nothing to do with me no it's been lovely but like we've at, had, met so many people obviously um, like i've known you for ages and i've even been around with you in disney parks but it would have been quite a few years ago yeah, yeah. so things have obviously changed since then yeah. and um so it's weird to see the development, I think, if that makes sense. It was so cute. Man. No, but yeah. it actually is so nice. And yeah. it's, it was a bit overwhelmed on the first day, I think, wasn't I? When people were like, Sam! And I was like... <laughs> I knew it would happen, but I didn't think it was going to be 50 in no, two days. I didn't think it was going to happen like that often either. I think because we're all on the same cruise, it's like everyone's we're in a condensed here. area. So I'm literally sailing with a bunch of you. It's, like, it's actually lovely that everyone's here for the same thing. Yeah. Everyone's just talking. Even if like there's people, there's been times where we've been in the toilets and we ended up having chats with people. Yeah, and we don't nice. know who they are, no. but like it's just, I don't know, everyone's got a common interest, I guess. Yeah, it's been nice. Everyone's got the same mindset. Everyone's got the same things. Yeah. We were having a lovely time and it, it feels really special being here, it really does, it really really does. Just came out on the fourth deck very quickly to take some photos in our pirate outfits and I wanted to show you the beauty of the water. It's looking extremely blue, like mega blue today, this evening for some reason and we're going to have sunset in the next couple of hours. It's been quite peaceful actually spending a bit of time here, we probably were here for about 10-15 minutes. You can see the waves down there as well. Uh, so close to us. This is the kind of view that you don't normally get anywhere unless you are on a cruise ship. And it's a unique one for me. It's not one that I'm used to yet. But I feel like I could get used to it. I like the fact that when I look all the way to the distance, all I can see now is just the sea and the blueness. Walking past guest services to go and meet Captain Jack Sparrow when we just spotted this cute, I don't know, it's just like a little display with some chocolate coins because it's pirate night we've got a couple of characters from the Muppets over there oh my god is that meant who's that meant to be I don't really know but they're all dressed up in their pirates attire it's cool and also whilst we're here it does look a bit like the yeah as expedition Everest in Walt Disney World and um, but whilst we're here I also thought I'd really quickly show you the back of the guest services area has all the castles from the different Disney parks so we've got in Asia you can see here oh this is California's castle as we know and then Pacific Ocean, that's meant to be probably maybe Tokyo. Well, doesn't that's, to that's definitely Tokyo, and then North America. What I know, I see why I this is not obviously it's, it's California's castle, but it's um, it used to be Hong Kong's castle, that's why they've put it here. Doesn't matter anyway, because the best castle of all, Disneyland Paris, is, is over here in Europe, and it looks so stunning. Look at that, and it's actually, I just noticed it's literally the map. Of Europe, you can see Italy there as well, and France is, of course, where Disneyland Castle is. How long have we been in the queue? Thank you for about 45 minutes. Yeah, not not as bad as we thought it would be, and we're lucky because we're the last people. Yeah, the queue got basically cut after us, so we just about made it. We didn't realize we we're going to be the last people, but here we are, and I think we've got another maybe two three minutes before it's going to be our turn. Are you excited? And we've still got enough time to get to dinner, which is perfect. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Manifestation? It's, it's around 8 o'clock right now, isn't it? Yeah. And dinner's at 8.30, so it's going to be a very relaxed atmosphere. Hello, sailors. Thank you Welcome so to my ship. Thank you very Actually, much. Actually, this isn't my ship. I'm looking for my ship. <laughs> Have you seen it? <laughs> Can you see you do it right now? You have to shout as well. There we are. There we are. There we are. Before you even start, um, when, 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 I, I don't know what to say, a bit flustered to be honest. I can tell. Literally, he came straight up to me and I was like, oh, hello. Yeah, I could see the moment. And then he took my hand and I was still overwhelmed. He wanted me to scream at him, but I thought, well, we can't. Well, he asked you to. Yeah, me. he's like, I need you to practice waving down my ship. And I went like, wave. And then he said, Oh, I said Jack, and he was like, oh, there should have been a captain in there. I said, oh, sorry, captain. Oh, my God. What a moment you had. I love him. He's cute, isn't he? It's cute. Anyway, it is 8.25 and we have come back to Enchanted Garden because for dinner we are eating at the same restaurant as last night but with a totally new menu specific to the Pirates Night. Apparently the menu is actually the same across all restaurants, all rotational dining restaurants on the Disney Dream for Pirates Night. So I'm looking forward to it. But There you go, Enchanted Garden. We're going to get our little paper, paper towels. Thank you very much. Hand sanitize our hands now that we're getting the drill. 
Oh my god, the pirate vibe. Look at that. Hello. Hello. Oi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Wow. This is a different vibe to last night and I absolutely love it. Cool. The vibe, all the all the cast we're members. Going, yeah, same table, isn't it? 19. Cupid Mickey still welcoming us in. Look at the ceiling. I'm loving everyone's outfits. It just looks so cool, like a sea of red amongst the green of the actual restaurant. It's awesome. It's a very different vibe already from what it was like yesterday. We're back in our seats at our table, literally in the same exact <laughs> way that we sat last night. Hello, do you guys want to say hi? hi. Can you say hi as well? Hello. The menu looks beautiful. Look at that Pirates of the Caribbean menu. Love the little design. And then as you can see, it's all very much pirates themed. So the appetizers, we've got, I mean, even the font is pirates themed. Angelica's lime marinated shrimp. Deep fried calypso crab cake. That sounds good. There's some soups and salad. We've got the bread service, which is Johnny cake with mango dip. Um, we've got the main courses here, Jack's Treasure of the Seas, grilled shrimp and scallops. We've got, I think, a chicken option, um, lamb shank. There's quite a lot going on. There's some lighter options over there and vegetarian. And I think the desserts, oh, coffee. I could, I'd really need some coffee. But yeah, the desserts options will come later. This is amazing. I love how we can actually see the sea as well. This is the mango dip. It's actually already on the table. No one's tried it yet from our table. Yeah, we've got all the butter over there. The bread's there as well. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have a cold soup. It's a mango soup. <laughs> Beautiful pirates. Beautiful pirates. And the mango soup, also not a good choice. The lamb shake took eight hours bracing wow. the oven. When you lift up the bone, the meat falls out. Okay. Oh my goodness. So I've ordered a starter and a main course. Who knows? how much you'll be able to eat. I went for the samosa for my starter. It's a vegetarian, Frankie's gone for the same thing. And I went for the lamb shank for my main course. I couldn't decide between the lamb shank and the jerk chicken. Asked the lovely cast member, the server, and he said he prefers the lamb shank, so made my decision easy, decided to go for that. Um, the bread's really nice. They also have this special, apparently they call it Johnny bread, which is just cornbread. We did double check um, with the cast member. And there's some mango chutney and some butter as always. And yeah, there's some pirate music going on. It's a great time. The cornbread, delicious. Um, I just had some butter with it as well. But I'm also going to try this mango chutney. Frankie tried it and she said it was pretty good. So I'm just going to. I guess I'm going to try it with the cornbread actually. I don't know. Maybe I should try it with the normal bread. Regular bread. A bit of mango chutney. You see what you mean about the garlic flavor in it as well? It's really good, yeah. So our samosas have arrived. As you can see, Frankie's gone for the exact same thing. She's currently photographing her food. Looks delicious. I love that the plate comes hot as well. I think it's always nice when they make the effort to bring the food with you. Not just warm as the food, but also the plate with them. I'm looking forward to it. This is, like I said, a vegetarian option, so no meat in it. And yeah, looking forward to trying it. So what do you try some of the samosa? It's really nice. It's nice to be trying something that has a bit of a kick to it on the Disney cruise because I feel like the food has been quite similar the past few days, at least the things that I've ordered. My main course for tonight is probably also going to be quite similar to what I had last night is a lamb shank. The customer said it's really delicious. But it's going to be like obviously red meat. Oh, quite spicy. But yeah, really delicious flavours. I'm really full so I could easily just eat this and no longer eat. But I do want to try a bit of the lamb shank at least. Our main course have arrived. Lord have all the mercy. This is my lamb shank that a cast member recommended. Again, comes in a hot plate, which is nice. It's huge. It looks really delicious. There's some green beans on the side as well. And I think, oh, some mashed potatoes. And I believe the sauce they've used is some kind of red wine sauce. So yeah, looking forward to trying this. Frankie's food is some uh, stir-fried noodles with, uh, I think, tofu and some vegetables. It looks really good. I actually nearly went for that. Oh my God, Frankie's loving life. Really good? 10 out of 10. <laughs> She's having a moment. <laughs> I just tried a little bit of Frankie's noodles. I had a similar reaction to her. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. By the way, you only tried two noodles. Yeah, it was, it was a little bit, because obviously it's Frankie meat. I don't want to take too much from her. And I've got this to also eat. But even the tiny bit that I tried. Delicious. Perfect. So good, Frankie. You made a right choice. Honestly, best thing I've tried on this whole cruise. 10 of 10. I'm going to enjoy it now. Back to Samar. <laughs> I haven't tried my um, lamb pan yet. I've had some of the mashed potato. It was nice. But even just with a fork, it does kind of fall off the bone, which is what my 
the server said as well, the cast member. So hopefully he's going to live up to expectations as well. After I've had, after I tasted Frankie's noodles, I'm not sure if this is going to be as good, but we'll see. It's good. The stir fry dish is amazing. This is good, but it's nothing special. The lamb was, as I said, after my first taste test. It was, it was, it was fine. And Frankie's already told me. <laughs> Could I decide? Yeah, 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 one fine isn't a good word. No, we know this. Yeah. But it's just your face is just fine. Because I'm looking at them. I, 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 there's still plenty of lamb left, and I probably won't be able to eat it. I'm very full. Your perception also will be a bit like meh because you're full anyway. You're not really that hungry. Yeah, like we've not been hungry at all on this cruise. But it might be a lot better, yeah. It says something about the, the noodle dish when you were like... Yeah. Well, this is the thing, despite being very full, I had a noodle dish and I was like, wow. Like, I could probably, you know, continue eating and get sick, even though I'm very full. She's laughing. <laughs> because of how good the noodle was. So, there you go. Frankie made an amazing choice today. The starters were both of our favourites, I think we'd say. The samosas were really good. Favourite main. Um, yeah. I don't know if we're going to have time to put it. Oh, we have. We're doing well with time, right? So it's only like 9.25 or something. You know what we're like? We're not going to get up for fireworks before 10 o'clock, are we? If they're at half past 10. We don't want to stand out in the car. Half an hour is fine. Yeah. Even 20 minutes. So fireworks, we've got fireworks now on the top deck. Well, I'm guessing we can probably see them from most of the decks. I don't really know. I've never experienced... Wouldn't it be ideal if we could see it from our balcony so we could just sit down? That would be so nice, wouldn't it? That would be ideal. Yeah, we've, I've never experienced fireworks just choosing off a ship, so we're both very excited about it, but we just... Oh, the good thing I've probably been playing with Disney music. Oh, yeah. you. Did you tell them about Disney Dreams music coming on in the shop the other night? No, no. We filmed it from the moment, remember? I can't remember. <laughs> you would have seen it in the previous vlog, I think, or whenever it was. But, no, yeah. Yeah, in any case, um, we're doing very well with time. Uh, fireworks are at 10.30. Um, the cast members also obviously know that most people want to get to the fireworks, so they've, the service has been a little bit quicker today. Um, some of the tables are a little bit empty, I mean, are already empty. Some people might, might have chosen not to even come. Some people have already finished. We don't know, but I think we're doing really well with time. And yeah, I might do a video at some point talking a bit more about the food on the Disney Cruise Line. Frankly, because like, Yes, I think you should. I think we should wait until after tomorrow. Remy's, I'm so excited. Because I think it's, it's not as easy as, do you know what I mean? It's a complicated yeah. situation. Yeah, yeah. You have to kind of say, eh, 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 eh. I know. It's, exactly, it's not like a um, uh, black and white. Good, yeah, it's not a black and white scenario. But we do have a Remy reservation tomorrow night. Spoiler for dinner which we're very excited about so yeah well the, the vlog the vlog has an end is there a menu that we can look at on the app i've tried to but like there's nothing there. it's gonna be a surprise then mm -hmm. and okay. this is for tea yeah i do not think i can stomach another burger and chips or pizza no. and chips and i really can't either so like tomorrow can we just not go to that flow's cafe <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to think of flow's cafe not gonna lie. like a <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in the vlog, but I'm gonna put a little flower on your mouth or something. That's up to interpretation. True, 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 true. Yeah. Just so I quickly show you the dessert menu. There's a bounty fruit cobbler with vanilla ice cream, bananas in paradise, rum soaked chocolate cake, which actually sounds quite nice. Pirates treasure Sunday, and then these are the other options that you can get: dessert wines, liquors, etc. I'm probably just gonna get a coffee. I'm not sure what coffee yet, but it actually says here, ask your um, server about some of our unique specialty coffees, all of which combine a range of our delicious liquors and your favorite style of coffee. So I'll see what I fancy and just maybe go for a hot drink tonight. Everybody at our table has left. Is it good? Yeah. Frankie's enjoying, Frankie's really enjoying this whole evening actually, I think actually, the dish, everything, the all three courses, right? This is delicious. Like is, it like, is it where they learn pineapple? This is pineapple, coconut, ice cream, sundae. Nice. Again, lovely. Um, I decided to just go for a uh, latte and for some reason, I don't know, one of the servers came in and handed me this and he was like, enjoy your hot milk. And I didn't quite catch it. Frankie did, thankfully, because I was like, I'm about to kind of start drinking it. Frankie was like, that, that's milk. 
and so I asked him to come back and I was like, I, I, I ordered coffee, not um, just milk. Still got the milk here, haven't tried it yet. The actual latte came eventually and it's really nice. It's just a regular cafe latte. The little rose thing, flowers quite cute on it. But hopefully this will both help my throat a little bit because it's warm and also keep me awake for an hour or two because I want to be able to experience the fireworks. Wherever we may experience that, I want to be able to actually be awake for them. And currently my eyes are like... You know what I mean. No, thanks for that. been really good. I'm impressed. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Because it's rough tonight. You can feel it. We were down on deck two for tea and we got up and we were like... Guys, we are... We've got 15 minutes until the fireworks on the top deck. We just popped by our stateroom to get hoodies and whatnot because it's probably going to be quite cold. The pirate hat's gone. Ship's been very wobbly for the past like 20 minutes or so. Um, oh, there you go. Thank the Lord. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna make our way up, hope for the best, and see what happens. By the way, I've got like half my pirate outfit on, and I've now got Simba. Oh yeah. Because Simba. Circle of life. Probably cut oh, my head off. Sorry. <laughs> go on, do a pirate life. Da -da 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 -da. Do you know what? I feel like it's quite out that on a pirate's night the ship's kind of rocking a little bit because I guess it feels like we're all drunk and pirates and in the, in the sea and the Caribbean. Right, I think it's going to be this one. Go on, let's go. Guys, I don't think you understand how tired we are. <laughs> tired. I don't want to just leave. Yeah. A oh, what? It skipped up. So, here we are. You can already hear the kind of party music going on. I think it's going to be extremely busy. I'll try my best to show as much of the night as possible. But really, we're excited about the fireworks and I'm sure we're going to be able to at least catch some of it. Well, we've come to deck 12. We're literally standing right under the aqueduct sign. There's loads of bubbles everywhere. How's life, Frankie? Hello. You okay? I feel like a newsreader with my hair up like this. Welcome to today's weather report. The sea is very choppy. <laughs> Um, yeah, show should be starting, well the fireworks show should be starting, I don't know, in the next 5-10 minutes and because fireworks go in the sky we should be able to see most of it, so exciting time. Jessica, did you know that Disney Cruise Line had the first ship to ever present fireworks at sea? And with us celebrating our 25th anniversary this year, we've been thinking a lot about our favorite Disney Cruise Line memories. Well, a very good evening, Disney Dream. Who's ready to celebrate? Absolutely outstanding. But I tell you what, we couldn't celebrate this evening without some friends that have been here since the very beginning. So let's all welcome Captain Spinny and Mickey Mouse. Joining us this evening, we also have Pluto and Gilby. Well, I tell you what, everyone, now that we're all here together, we're going to need your help. We're going to think of a wish, a wish that we're going to send to the stars forever to remember this night. So on, are you ready? Then here we go. Yeah. Thunder Mountain's longer. 
that's true. I'm joking guys, it was a really nice concept. I think it was just kind of like... We just didn't know what to expect really. I think yeah. it, Because we, we used to like theme park fireworks. Yeah, this is it. Like we're really spoiled with theme park fireworks. We are obviously amazing. Um, but the concept of being able to do really this on cute. sea is amazing. Yeah, do you know what was really annoying is I, I thought I filmed the final firework on my phone and I didn't press record. Hello darkness, my old friend. There's a bit of a party vibe going on here today. We're probably gonna go back to our stateroom though and get an early night early night. It's like close to eleven PM. I time. need to come back out to like fill my water bottles up. Oh yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Um, but yeah, there you go, a bit of light. I do love this song. Yeah. 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 Before we go back to our stateroom, I've just gone to the lovely. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Maya. Have you had an amazing time on the cruise so far? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Did you enjoy the fireworks earlier yeah. as well? Yeah? yeah. Amazing, amazing. I've got a YouTube channel. Yeah, do you want to shout yeah. it out? Um, it's called Life of Riley Swap. Okay, amazing. Go and check it out, guys. Thank you so much. Bye five. Yeah, oh, that was a. Th th there you go. Oh, I need to touch that. <laughs> See you later. We're back in our hey, stateroom. <laughs> As you can probably gather, it is. Do you know what the time is? Oh I've, God, I feel oh, dizzy suddenly. Then yeah, the ship's been rocking quite a bit tonight. Is it me or is it just like it's actually moving quite a bit now? It is. Tonight's been the most I've felt it since we arrived. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, it's close to midnight. I thought it was a little bit earlier, but have you ever seen the time? And for and for, oh, <laughs> we keep God. saying we're going to get early nights. We've still got things to do, but it's not like we're going to sleep as soon as we finish this. But. We just we sat. Might we might get to bed at two, but are we a <laughs> the fact you say this so like you know happily. I actually bet you, I'm actually one of that that we'll probably end up going to sleep around two. Yeah, I mean, hopefully that, that would be, be great. I would be happy. That would be an hour's like. Hour I don't extra. think people realise. Like first, it's like. I don't know how to explain it. We've had a really long day. We're knackered, but because we get we, energized that night, we don't see each other very often. I know. So it's like a sleepover every single time. I know. We're like excited it's exciting. Things. Yeah, exactly. Instead of like coming like normal people to the room and be like, okay, time for bed. Because like we don't have time to talk about life stuff during the day. No, we're trying to do that. And suddenly Goofy's there, or like somebody's like singing a song. This is what Disney. Someone's is. getting proposed. Oh yeah. To. <laughs> That's so cute. Um. Anyway, we're trying to like figure out a bit of a plan because it's the last last full day tomorrow. Yeah. Frankie beautifully presented well one of these like little sheets that they have in the room and we wrote it down look at us look at how organized we are <laughs> see basically thank you was like oh maybe you should show this to the vlog and we'll see you tomorrow by the end of tomorrow if we end up doing if all of this to it. hopefully we do because i feel like it's quite a good plan <laughs> yeah i'm actually happy with the plan i'm not happy with how early we have to get up yeah we still have to get up early because goofy's meeting at nine it's like actually fine it's just i don't know we, they're probably thinking you should go to bed now instead of worrying i about know it. and and i yeah <laughs> you're right you are right we should have a better sleeping pattern probably you're absolutely right guys feel free to comment that anyway because it does help the algorithm <laughs> but know that we already know our mistakes um <laughs> okay so there you go, that's tomorrow. We are um, absolutely delirious. We're so delirious. A couple of people have thought we were drunk. Do you remember, did you, this woman was like, how many have you had? <laughs> in the lift? None. <laughs> oh God. I jumped in the lift as well, I did. And then I frightened a woman. Oh. Because it was about to shut and I went, <laughs> Oh God. Went, oh my gosh, you frightened me. And I was like, that's I'm so sorry. I should have gone, yo. Anyway, when we did come back to our room, there was a nice something, uh, what's that thing over? It looks a bit like a blue Fantasia napkin. Nice. We'll go with that. Leave a comment that if you want to leave another comment instead of just telling us you need to go to bed early, you can leave a comment and let us know what you think this thing that our lovely stateroom host made us actually is. It looks pretty. We just don't really know what it is. We also have some chocolate coins as well. Really kind. Honestly, jokes aside, let me just have a more serious moment. Service has been amazing on this ship. Every cast member we've encountered has been really lovely. Um, just the vibe has been really nice. We're just knackered. We love you guys. Stay tuned for tomorrow to see if all this goes to plan. 
I've, I love giving high fours and fives to people, so give me a high four, Frankie. I really want to say something. Go on. I'm really impressed with the toilets on board. Because, okay. and this is just something I want to say, because I appreciate a clean toilet. And like there are, I don't know what you would call them. It's not a custodial, is it? Yeah, custodial cast members, like I guess, maybe. Cleaning, yeah. Like, you know, and they like literally, it's so nice. You go in, it's clean. Mm. It doesn't smell well. There's like never any like mess on the floor no. or anything. They always like fold the paper towels. Yeah as well that you use like they fold them and they fold the toilet paper yeah like, every it's time so I lovely. go in and yeah. I'm like oh my god someone gets paid to do this all day which I would be a bit bored doing mm. but you know YOLO um I'm sure Yo there's some sort of yeah perks to doing it you know, yeah on a cruise. and the thing is it, it it doesn't go unnoticed basically it no really, I actually really lovely... appreciate it. I thought it was such a lovely like mm. add-on service yeah every cast member we've met is so nice there are a few that we've that I think stand out to us mm -hmm. like um, that guy who works in the shop from Mexico oh he's been so oh, I wish we had his name I know he's a, a cast member he working in Mexico he's been so lovely to both of us he's like met us I think separately and then yeah. he remembers both and then of he knows us. us together I know it's so cool he likes my name yeah he thought you were like the name was he Italian thought I, he thought I was Italian yeah. I was like no sorry I'm yeah. just English um, but yeah he's really nice and then our waiting staff are really good I mean Alex like, yeah yeah the guy who Oh, Phil. Mm, oh, yeah, Alex. I think we had Christina behind us tonight that we were talking to. Was she was really nice as well. Was it Christina? I'm not sure. It was a cast member. from USA. Yeah, she was wondering, we were, we were chatting to her about the cruises and whatnot, and she said she, she's she been on, I think, The Wish and a few yeah, other cruises. Yeah, she's like six contracts already. Okay, well, she's amazing. So, yeah, it's been wonderful. It truly it has, and we're looking forward to one more full day here. And we're oh very my god, we're going to be leaving soon. I know, the fact that we have to, you said we have to pack tomorrow as well and that's just like, I can't believe that's a thing. My oh my god, we mess. have to schedule in time to go and get cupcakes. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a couple of times where we're like, you know, like between, maybe like even after Cabanas we could maybe do that. No? I feel like the the schedule may need a bit of a update but this i'm gonna end we'll figure it out i'm gonna end the vlog thank you so much for watching thank you to frankie of course for being there give me a high four now it's been a i waited too long for it thank you i would say that was a low four <laughs> low four I, a I, side four <laughs> 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 let's hope my voice comes back better than ever tomorrow goodbye goodbye <laughs>